Another last minute vlog with somebody else's camera. This is becoming a trend. Hey you, my name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Even though it takes enormous effort to make this a weekly Wednesday vlog. Yes, this is a camera that I borrowed from, you guessed it, Addis. It is the a7 III and it's capable of 4K. And I keep borrowing it for work related things and vlogs, but that should all change very soon. After thinking and thinking and thinking and browsing around for some time, I think I have decided on what I want my next camera to be. My old little D3 300 had its shutter fail recently, I think that's the problem, but either way, it's time to upgrade. So the a7 III is awesome in every aspect, no doubt about that, but it is also a little bit out of the price range, especially for talking budget things, which is what you'll usually find on this channel. At $2,000, I think that's what it goes for nowadays in other markets, it's pretty expensive. Now, as you remember, I used to use the a7S for a while, and that was an epic camera, especially when it comes to low light, but it did have a few drawbacks of its own, like a very small resolution sensor, which makes for very small resolution photos, and also no stabilization in the camera, for example, which means I got a lot of shaky footage, which I had to fake stabilize, which doesn't look very great, especially when you use cheaper lenses, which don't have stabilization either. And so the nice little middle that I discovered is the a7 II. I don't know why I just did that. The a7 II is pretty much the little brother of the a7 III. It has the 5-axis stabilization, it has a bigger megapixel sensor, 24 megapixels to be exact, 24.3 I do believe, which means it's good for video and it's good for photos. Obviously it doesn't live up to this guy, it doesn't have as good of a sensor, it doesn't have as good of a focusing system, it doesn't have a 4K video, and some other things like that which definitely make this a worthwhile camera, but I think that's a very quality little brother. So we're planning a little road trip with Addis just like we did last time to go and check out the camera meet the guy who owns it see if the deal that he gave us is worth it and hopefully then we'll have a camera of our own now that applies to just the body I don't have any lenses yet I do have an adapter which will work with some of my older Nikon lenses but it's got no focus so it will all be manual that works great for video and you can kind of make do with it for photo but it makes it very difficult again we have Addis to borrow lenses from and I'm gonna look into my own lenses but that's a topic for another day. What didn't go rolling down the hill with the other cameras is these reserve batteries. And as far as I know, the a7S and the a7 II share the same type of battery, which means I won't have to be investing in a whole bunch of these again. And obviously things like shotgun mics or lav mics and even some generic flash guns like the Young Nuo flashes, they're pretty universal, so that should be working fine with the new camera. But again, that is a topic for another video. Meanwhile, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go and dream of my a7 II. Thank you guys so much for spending your precious time on my videos, and I'm gonna see you guys next week. Dreaming of my S7 II.